Hi students, uh, who are connected, uh, they can uh, put it in the chat like hi or something in the chat. Hi Priya, we'll wait for uh, two more minutes uh, so that we, then we will start. You can ask your friends also to join because uh, since it is a live stream so that uh, no need of any restrictions or something uh, just you can forward the link to your uh, friends and um, uh, you can ask them to join since it is like just a YouTube link no need of any permissions or keys or something uh, they can join Just now I have given my number over there and uh, if you want to continue in, uh, for everyday class, uh, you can send your name and uh, uh, phone number to uh, that number, your details, that is just your name and phone number so that everyday link I can uh, post you um, so that uh, we can uh, avoid the uh, waste of time. So. And uh, this is a um, uh, YouTube channel uh, which is created by me so that uh, you can uh, uh, click on the subscribe button and uh, you can watch these videos also. These will be available. Okay. Uh, all of you know about my contact number and um, I, I don't know about your contact details so that um, so um, how can I contact you is um, is a big question for me so that if you send any message or something uh, so that um, I can uh, direct uh, daily I can keep a link for you.
whoever connected uh, please put uh, some hi in the chat so that we will start uh, discussing our um, topic today that is um, how to write a C program uh, what are the basic things uh, we are going to discuss today hope my number is visible in the chart otherwise I will put it again for you since uh, these are the initial classes so that we are, uh, we are lack of communication I am um, not able to contact you people other day some of you have uh, already logged in and I don't have uh, your contact number so that I have given a contact number in the chat so that you can uh, So for tomorrow's class, you can ask your friends also to join uh, with the uh, link. So tomorrow I'm going to share uh, the, uh, because in the same link, um, in the same uh, channel, I'm going to keep one more link. Uh, if you click that uh, at six o'clock, you'll get that link and you can do it. Otherwise, you can uh, contact this number and you can do it. So today we'll start our discussion. Shall we start our discussion today? Please do respond in the chat so that uh, I can give you more information to you. Today we are going to discuss about how to write a program in uh, C. So <coughs> whether my uh, screen is visible to you, all of you, I think, yes, right. So now I'm going to uh, write a program here. The structure of a C program I'm going to explain. Uh, C here. So as I said that in the previous class, I'm I'm forgetting all that, and uh, I'm assuming that each and every person is in with a zero knowledge, and I'm starting this. So first one is preprocessor directive. Preprocessor directive, and after this preprocessor directive, we will write global declaration global declaration and next one is we will write a main function so int main and some other functions we are writing other functions we are writing so what is preprocessor directive so this is the structure of a C program this is a structure of a C program. So I will write a sample program here and then we will map what is preprocessor directive, what is global declaration and int main we will see. Hash include stdio dot h. So this is a preprocessor directive. So first I want to talk about this one. So in this program we are not writing global uh, declaration and we will write one function that is main. So here main is what a function. So this is what actually this is a preprocessor directive. So always the preprocessor directive starts with hash. Always the preprocessor directive starts with hash. And main is what? Main is a function. How many mains will be there in C program? There will be only one main function will be there in the 
C program. So here the program execution. Suppose if you have written 100 lines of code in your program also, it starts executing from main. So uh, main is what? A function and it starts program execution starts from main. Starts from main and here we will write some set of uh, instructions so what are the set of instructions we will see so first thing is suppose very simple one we have written printf suppose hello i have written this and i have written return zero this is my simple program see how many lines line one this is line two this is line 3, this is line 4 and this is line 5 and this is line 6. So what I will discuss about each and every line. What is about first line? It is preprocessor directives. Always the preprocessor directive starts with hash and it is called as H-E-A-S-H -H, hash and most of you will call it as hash and um, while we are pronouncing that we will call it as ash ash um, you will get such type of question also in your um, um, exams like uh, um, in objective type the preprocessor directive starts with dash most of you have written ash it is not ash it is hash so hash and um, the program execution starts with main and main is what name of the function and what is int int is return type so so in the second line int is the int is the return type int is the return type okay and uh, the set of instructions we will write in the pair of braces this is your third line and your sixth line is ending that closing brace these two are called as braces so curly braces so these two are starting and ending and so why we are including this stdao.h and we will see all those things suppose what is this include so hash include stdao.h so what it is including what it is including it is including only including what it is including it is including stdio stdio dot h what is stdio dot h stdio means standard input output standard input output so standard input output is a library file it is a library file stdio.h is a library file so and its name is full name stdio std stands for standard IO stands for input output standard input output library so uh, why we need to include this stdio.h into our file so he, this is our program in this program we are including hash include why we are including that why we are including because see the fourth statement fourth statement is what printf see here printf hello printf hello so what it is doing by the name itself we can understand that printf means what it is printing it is printing where it is printing printing on to the screen printing on to the screen so printf f means it is a function so it is a printing function it is a printing function whatever we have written here it will print onto the screen it will print onto the screen so uh, who um, um, so print a function has to work like uh, it is printing something onto the screen so working of print f is what so whatever it is there in the double quotes here it has to print onto the 
screen so who is telling that printf you go and print onto the screen and maybe printf is also uh, some code function that means they have somebody has written already some code in the printf and it is working when we are using this one it is a ready made function already we are not writing uh, printf is a ready made function already it is already built in C. One, since we are using in our program printf and hello here, whatever it here we have written, if I have written hello, it will print. Suppose if I am saying that Remy lectures, it will print here. So who, who are telling that uh, printf you go and do that? So already some code is written for this printf. So where it is saved? It is saved in stdio.h. It is saved in the library file. So printf function is defined in the it is defined in the library file library file stdio.h. If the printf function has to work properly in our program we need to include this stdio.h in our program so why we are including this stdio.h since our program has printf function as well as scan of function also for the time being you just keep it as uh, keep it aside so printf and scan of these are some predefined functions all these predefined functions are defined in stdio.h so if in order to execute printf and scanf properly we need to include stdio.h in our file so that's why our first statement is stdio hash include that means we are including this library file we are including this library file into our program and main is what I think you understand this one. Whether you are able to understand this, what is a hash include stdio.h? Because since it's the first class, or um, uh, it's a very basic thing, so that uh, you can understand way, um, way, um, slow, slowly, so that somebody can type here. Whether you are able to understand what is hash include? Whether you understood? Ah, yes, I. Very good, very good. So, why we are including this one? is because um, um, yes Priya so we are including because printf and scanf must be work in a proper way printf scanf baga work kawali ante ave ekka define ayine stdio.h lo so ee mana program lo rastunnamo mana rastunnam ante ee definite ga now we can define yesterday.h so yesterday.h can include okay then main is what main is a function and we need to start any execution suppose if you have written 100 lines of program also start out the execution starts from main execution starts from main so this is the uh, preprocessor directive and all these things suppose while you are writing why I am retaining return 0 one more thing I'll tell you see here so I'll write again hash include stdio dot h and next one is int main I have written int main is a function and here you simply have written printf hello I have written and semicolon and here return 0 why I am writing return 0 even though if you have written 100 long lines of uh, code uh, in the last you need to write return 0 and closing press so why we need to write this return 0 see this one so main is what function already I told you like main is a function 
so it is what predefined function and what is int int is the return type int is return type so whose return type before the function before the function main it has specified so that main function return type is integer main type return type is integer that's why we are writing at the last return zero that means what uh, that means after executing all the statements return zero means it is successfully successfully executed all the statements so so after suppose here you have written 10 statements at the 11th statement i have written 0 means 10 statements it has executed successfully then return 0 means 0 indicates it successful so i have executed all the above statements and uh, returning it to whom it is returning it is 0 is sent 0 is sent returning means what 0 is sent to whom it is returning to whom it is returning operating system operating system operating system so the control so who is executing this one compiler is executing i'll tell you in after completion of this explanation what is compiler and um, uh, how compiler is executing how it is giving the errors also in today's class you can understand so once all the 10 statements are executed the last statement is return 0 return 0 means it is returning so adi ever kistunda 0 ni operating system so control is given to operating system with this statement so after writing suppose you have written this simple program how to save this one i want to give this name as first program right so my sample program sample dot c always the file extension must be dot c sample is the name of the file sample is name of the file in our computer also we will name uh, we will store our files, our movies with the names. So, here the extension dot .c is called as the extension of, of the C file. Always, always, always C program file extension must be dot .c. Suppose if you are writing... C++ program file so then your extension will be dot cpp and if you are writing java file dot java and dot man if you are, suppose if you are writing ms office uh, ms office you mostly will have dot doc uh, dot um, uh, uh, txt is for text file so some extension will be there but uh, for c file the it, uh, file must be saved with some name like sample and dot c is the extension so while you are executing in um, uh, suppose uh, uh, how to execute the program once you have saved your program sample dot c how to execute suppose so now I will explain how to execute the program. So after writing this program, this is called as a soft copy, right? We'll call it as a soft copy or our program, our program. So first it will be given to compiler. So what is compiler? Your program consists of some set of instructions. You do like that, you do like this. We are writing some set of instructions. So who will follow that instructions? Compiler. So as I said that previously we have written a single instruction that is printf hello. But uh, the instruction what it is saying, hello must be printed on the screen, onto the screen. Who will understand? Who should understand this one? Compiler. But compiler is what is compiler? Compiler is a software. Compiler is also software. So what it is doing? It will take the high level language, high level language 
program and it converts into the machine language code it is converting into the machine code is machine code what is machine code it is nothing but ones and zeros and ones it will execute it will convert into the machine code and that file so program is what dot c sample dot c extension once it is given to the c compiler similarly we'll have java compiler c++ compilers will be there um so what the compiler will do high level language program will be converted into machine language language because our all our circuits understands only zeros and ones here i have written printf hello uh, hash include all those things cannot be understand by the machine machine cannot understand so that compiler is helping that high level language program is converted into low level program that is zeros and ones this is what dot obj file so now this dot c file is converted to dot obj this is called as object file object file object file once it is included then compiler task is done so then linker will come into the picture linker so what is this linker so what it is linking actually as i told you that library files library files like uh, std io dot h all those things will be linked here so not only our program and std io dot h kind of files will be linked to this object file and then this at this stage the file will become as exe file that means executable file this is called as a executable file so once executable file is ready then you can start the start the execution once exe file is ready then you can start the execution so once you have written only dot c file it is not sufficient first what will have dot c file will be converted into o dot obj file with the help dot obj file with the help of compiler and i'll tell you more things about compiler also and linker will what linker will link the proper library files and all those things and it will give dot exe file once exe file is we can start the execution and one more task of compiler is suppose uh, what compiler will do is not only it is converting the high, dot c file is what our english in english language we are writing high level language program it is what uh, machine code object file is what machine code so while it is converting the high level language into machine language if there are any errors if any errors errors means what sometimes i will write a mistake like this as i told you in the previous class printf hello i have written but i forgot to keep this semicolon so it is also a mistake suppose if i have written capital p printf so p is capital it is also a mistake though i have kept given the uh, suppose i have written hi here and semicolon i have kept but p is wrong so this kind of mistakes that means p is a mistake here here i have missed semicolon semicolon i didn't keep so these errors while it is converting so these are the rules actually so to write a print of statement it should be in all must be in small letters and double quote should be there and pair of parenthesis should be there and semicolon should be there these are what rules these rules are nothing but syntax so what it gives syntactical errors syntactical errors means so um, now whatever we are typing actually the typing errors will be also specified by the compiler the main task of compiler is high level language program is converted into machine level language and the syntax uh, while it is converting the high level language into machine language the syntax also will be 
checked properly whether syntax is correct or not it is checking so it is giving the errors understood and uh, suppose while you are writing program suppose i'll show you here mm, i'll show you here Uh, suppose if you are writing, I'll write a small program to find addition of two numbers. See here, hash include. There is no space between hash and include. Hash include stdio dot h. Here we have to write main function. So int main and pair of parentheses, open brace. Then uh, I want uh, I want to Uh, perform addition on two numbers. So I'm taking a equal to ten, comma b equal to twenty. So it is not sufficient. So a is ten, b is twenty. Both are of integer type. So that I need to declare it as integer. So two variables we have taken a and b, and I'm printing sum. So what I have to do? So I just want to print. So I need to explain some more statements also. Suppose I just want to print a value is ten, b value is twenty. If I want to print, so print f. I add for the time being we are writing print f. A is ten. Print f. B is twenty. Suppose I am printing, and uh, here I want to write comments uh, since I have written the program so that I can understand. But others, others also have to uh, understand my program. Why? What is the need that others have to understand? Suppose I am working in a company. I have written some code. I have developed some software. Software is nothing but some collection of programs. And if um, and if um, Suppose I left the job in the mid. If somebody came and uh, if they asked, um, like um, um, suppose uh, whoever uh, has taken my job, uh, suppose fifty percent is done by me and uh, remaining fifty percent has to be done by some other person, and the other person has to start wherever I have stopped. So in order to start his job, he has to read all the code whatever I have written. So how it should be understood? So it should be in a proper manner. So I have to write mm, the re the code should be uh, understand by the other people also to understand that uh, we can add some comments. So in the program we can add some comments in the program. So how to add comments in the program? Suppose comments means is nothing but some explanation. So why I am writing like uh, writing this line? Why I am writing this line? Uh, uh, so it is a kind of explanation. So here I want write this is my first line. So explanation. So explanation can be in one line or it can be in multiple lines also. It can be in one line, or sometimes if explanation is more uh, number of lines, so we have to specify in multiple lines. So how to write comments in one line and multiple lines? We are showing in this concept. So so this is my first line. So this is first statement. So two forward slashes in your keyboard. If you type in, it, it just like your um, uh, division symbol. Two forward slashes. So these are. line comments so here i am writing a comment as first print f line so this is second line this is second line or something so here after this i want to write a big sentence so if i want to write in two lines this is the end of the program so this is the end of the suppose if after writing this one uh, i don't have enough space to write the remaining words in my sentence so that this is the end of the program so i'm i'm writing in the second line program uh, we can stop the program or sin 
or something i have written my explanation so now my comment is in multiple lines so how to keep this multiple lines comment see here forward slash and star and here it is star and forward slash so if you if your comment is in multiple lines we need to specify the comment between these two things forward slash star and star and forward slash so now my program is completed so before the completion what i need to write return zero i need to write so return zero semicolon and close my program so here it is a preprocessor directive this is a main function here i have specified some variables in tomorrow's class we will see that what are variables next one is printf this is a first line this is second line i have specified i'll underline this is a first line and this is a second line of code and this is a line comment this is also line comment and this is multiple lines comment so now i will generalize so comments are of two types so comments comments can be added in the program so uh, you need not to worry about comments madam do i need to write like uh, perfect syntax or rules are there there are no rules to write the comments comments are nothing but our explanation explanation so because other persons should able to understand so why they have written suppose i have written a complicated formula like c equal to a plus b minus c divided by d or something why i have written to calculate to calculate some value of c so here my comment is in multiple lines so that i should not use line comment what i should use i should use multiple line comment that is forward slash star and star and this one so uh, in between this um, uh forward slash star and star and forward slash whatever may be the lines you have specified that will be considered as a comment so comments are of two types first one is line comment line comment means so your comment will be only in one line so it is specified with two forward slashes and multiple multi line multi line comment multi line comment we can call it as multi line comment so it will be specified as forward slash star and here i can write my explanation this is my second line third line until you find star and slash this will be considered as a comment and comments and forward slashes will not be executed by the compiler compiler mana uh, any comments rasna a compiler will not take comments it won't convert into object code earlier i told you dot uh, c file that means our program has some comments and some statements so compiler will never convert the comments into the object file only the statement suppose here i have written see here printf a is zero up to this one only it will take up to from here to here only it will consider once comment is encountered it will not be considered by the compiler so com comments use enti manam rasina code vere vallaku kuda ardham avvali so dani kosam comments rastam so adu anamata so inka 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 chaala raayachu inka different ga kuda raayachu itla ante suppose int main rastunnam kada ikkada itla raayachu this is main function this is main function meek ardham avadam kosam anamata so ikkada nen raayachu then um, i have written something suppose meek kosam rastuna int a equal to 10 b equal to 20 and uh, int c i have declared now i am writing the c equal to c equal to addition of a and b i want to store c equal to a plus b a value 10 b value 20 so uh, c will store what a plus b is calculated then c stores the addition of that so and semicolon so here i am writing 
C will store C will store addition of A and B. Addition of A and B. So this is a line com uh, line comment. So that's why I have used two forward slashes. Then I am writing. I want to print C value. Print F. Inka mitteli do, but I am introducing percentile D. Since C is an integer, so A is integer, B is integer. So if I perform addition operation on these two, the result also will be in integer. So that C is integer. So to print C value, we are using percentile D. This is control string. In the further classes, we will see that what is percentile D. And we are writing C here and semicolon. So. And here I am writing like um, uh, this is the this uh, this is the end of the program. So now my comment is in multiple lines, so that I am using this one and return return zero semicolon closes and main function closed. So I can write. Main function closed. So like this, you can add the comment. So now this is what line comment. This is also a line comment. That means this is the explanation. This is the explanation for this line. This is the explanation for this um, int main line. And here after end of the this is multiple line comment. Multiple line comment, and again this is a line comment. So this is how we can write the program in a readable way. अर्थात् वहीं ना ये ला प्रोग्राम राय लो। इन्दु को एसटीडी एसटीडी वो कटाडू तारो। What is एसटीडी वो मेरे को वाई वालो आडू तारो। Standard input output सर्च करने पाएंगे ना तो। इन्दु टेंटे रासन का था स्टैंडर्ड इनपुट आउटपुट स्टीडी स्टैंडर्ड इनपुट आउटपुट इन दो को स्टीडी ने इंक्लूड जस्ट ना मन फाइल लो इकड़ इन दो को इंक्लूड जस्ट ना मन टे प्रिंटेड फ़ूस स्कैन ऑफ़ सो प्रिंटेड स्कैन ऑफ़ सो स्टीडी ए वो लोड डिफाइन आयु ने अंध कने मन हम स्टीडी ए वो ने इंक्लूड जस्ट ना and dot h चूड़े निकड़ा library file extension ने मुंदे dot h library files extension dot h चूड़ता दी and मना c files भी dot c उन्टाई compiler machine compiler range से दी मना soft high level language program code नहीं low level अंटे machine level code लो convert जैसे दे अपडोचे file name इंटी dot obj dot object file and linker will link the stdo.h library files in case uh, necessary files and link just our ninja file name untaru now exe file that is executable file once exe file is ready we can start the execution okay इनका int अवनी मिच्छा पलेद इनका उनको कर जपानी in main function return type is integer मानो ये पुरी int int गने राया ली and कड int रासा अंगा बटे last statement टेन जस्ट ना मु so main function ये return जस्ट दे एंड integer value ये integer value return जस्ट दे एंड zero return जस्ट दे यंत्र कुछ zero return जस्ट दे एंड एंड zero return जस्ट दे एंड एंड दाना दम before that as a last statement मानो return जस्ट दम return zero रास्ता and return zero तरह तो game execute आवा दसल। Once return zero तरह तो निवेशन statements रास्ते execute आव। इन्द को नहीं return zero आने गले control will jump to the operating system। Compiler निंचे operating system की control ले पोतन गने इनका नू इन्नी lines code रास्ते गने अधिम execute आवा दो। So zero means what? It is successfully executed all the previous lines of code। अब तो मैं इंदा Priya and Ajay
Yeah, very good, Ajay. Very good, Ajay. What about Priya? Adhamutna? Inka the Nidananga choose kundi. Malla e video na the antlone untadi. Nini delete chat ledu, so Mirumala choose coach kuda. Miku Kali una pudok sari. Back kelly check chess coach. Okay na? So next ray paint chaptanante C tokens chaptan. And C language lo. So I put manamum. Suppose in our in so in our English language, uh, what do we use? We use alphabets. Alphabets and uh, uh, collection of alphabets are not nothing but words. So some collection of words with grammar. So syntax is nothing but uh, some rules. I should not write like. Um, name, my, is or something. I should not write like that. So, similarly here also uh, we should not, uh, we have to follow some rules to frame the sentences. That is called syntax. So, we will write, we will use some uh, sentences. So, we will use some sentences here. Similarly, in C language, uh, what are the characteristics? So, what do we use? That is called character set what is character set and what are c tokens so slowly we are uh, jumping into the language tomorrow we will see that there are um, um, uh, six types of uh, tokens are there uh, what are six types of tokens strings constants and characters operators special symbols there are six types of tokens and what kind of character. So, in our English English language, we have alphabets. So, what we can use as a character set in C. So, just like alphabets. So, whether uppercase letters, capital A to Z, small A to Z are allowed. Is there any other things, special characters are there? We will see all those things in the next class. Okay, today's class, if you understood, uh, you can say bye and uh, you can leave. Once you have uh, left the session, then I will close the session. And tomorrow, at the same time, we will join and uh, tomorrow, uh, the topics will be more interesting and uh, more things we will learn. Say bye and in the chat and uh, you can leave. If any other uh, people are there also, you can say bye. I think three more viewers are there.